for my birthday bash, wine, gossip, and comedy show. Please, if you got your tickets, and I'm going to be seeing you in the building in Atlanta this Sunday at the 6.30 or 8.30 p.m. show at the Uptown Comedy Corner, please be sure to put them tickets and the wine emoji in the chat. I cannot wait to see you. Oh, my gosh. Listen, I'm coming with everything with a makeup artist. I am on my Alicia Keys. Don't play with me. Okay? My, it took a while for my skin to get this good. Makeup just, I, I, I didn't even start wearing makeup until I was like 30-something years old anyway, and my skin got bad fast. So you can imagine girls that started wearing makeup when they were 16, they got them holes in their face, that's their business. That's their business, okay? Listen, we actually got a moderator in the studio. We got a real, uh-uh, uh-uh. We got a real life why no game moderator in the studio. Y'all make some noise for Pictures Royale because she is directly chatting from the studio in Broward County, okay? Teddy, say hey. You gonna be in the building on Sunday? Yes. Uh-huh. Teddy, Teddy coming. He bringing it. I told you he bringing his white bitch. He ain't playing. Okay, please, guys, don't forget. I got two announcements before we get into this full show. Because we got receipts on Mike Epps. Don't play with me. Don't play with me. He said he was sending the lawyers. Send them now. Let's go. But listen, um, two, two. <laughs> don't forget, guys, we are officially on our wine, gossip, and comedy baby tour every other Sunday, maybe sometimes three Sundays a month. That's all I'm doing for now because I do not want to interrupt our schedule here. I am not leaving y'all for Hollywood. Hollywood got to come to me, okay? They got to catch me on my days off, all right? So just make sure, guys, you are on TashaKOnStage.com. You are searching for your city. I did say we had a slight change in the schedule, but this won't ever, ever happen no more, okay? This was tour manager club, all this and that. I told them, I don't care whose fault it is. Y'all need to fix it. But our Indianapolis show will no longer be... Jasmine, can you get Jason for me real quick so I can get these dates real quick? Make sure y'all on Tasha K on stage.com right now, all right? And we're going to switch it. If you have tickets to our Indianapolis show in Indiana, keep your tickets. We're just moving the date. They double booked. And I said, this is the last time this going to happen. And so the show is no longer... Hold on, let me get the dates for y'all. Let me make sure I get the correct information. It is no longer on what, April 7th? April 11th, Jason? Okay, what was the original date? What was the original date for Indianapolis? Hold on. Okay, so it is no longer on April 7th for Indianapolis. It is now moved to what? July 7th. Okay, this is the last time all the other dates are good, set in stone. This won't happen no more, okay? Ain't nobody canceling no shows. We coming to work. Y'all know I need to work. Got a lot of people I owe, okay? Jasmine say her dog got to (laughs) eat. Jasmine dog got medical bills too. I said, how the hell your dog got medical, more medical bills than my daughter? Oh, my God, this is crazy. But, you know, y'all and y'all dogs, all right? So I cannot wait to see y'all this Sunday in Atlanta. Two shows, okay? Uh, 6.30 and 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for my birthday. All right, I'm coming out in a cheap birthday outfit. Yes, I am. City Trans done donated me something, okay? It's colorful. It's thin. All right? You're going to definitely see pit stains and stuff, and I ain't going to be able to wear it but one time. Shout out to City Trans. They are trying to compete with Fashion Nova. I'm just playing. But if they want to, I'm, I'm open for it as long as it's free. All right, so don't forget, get y'all tickets. So Baltimore, y'all are officially up next after Atlanta, okay? So make some noise, Baltimore. Now listen, before we get started, we got George Santos, all right? We definitely got Columbia Records. I, I never thought a record label would make the lineup, but today... There's a first for everything. We are open, open, open wine barrel and dispensary. We spill it all, all right? Sierra and Russell Wilson is back on the lineup. I saw y'all talking shit in the comments. I don't care. I don't care. If I get it wrong, I come out here and say it. I ain't got no problem with that, but we're going to keep with the news, okay? Tyler, make me swear. 
Make me water. Make me lose my breath. Make me water. Tyler is on the lineup. Definitely got Ugly Red and Drake. Jake Paul and Mike Tyson. Definitely going to be talking about the Freemans. Oh, my God. Who is on episode three of the docu-series on the Freeman case? I told y'all, don't play with me. Now, I'm going to wait before I drag Trap and Anonymous. I'm going to wait, okay? I really am. Because this should have been something that Trap and Anonymous on Breakbeat Media should have did. I shouldn't have had to come to clean up the lies. I shouldn't have had to do that. But somebody's got to do it. You got all these lives in this family at stake, and you want to believe one hope for some views? That's all good. That's all good. But who's on episode three? Who's watched episode one with the father, episode two with the brother, episode three with the father and the stepmother that don't want the father? And we got two more bonus interviews coming. So it's going to be five and six. But Chantel's interview it's dropping tonight on TashaKLive.com right after the show. So you better have them subscriptions in order to see this. Now, definitely going to be talking about Carlissa, Drewski, and Kai Sennett. We got exclusive wine on Mike Epps. And who else, Jasmine? Who else we got that? That's it? That's everybody? Are you sure? Okay, all right, we're to the point tonight. I love it, all right? So listen, before we get started, we just got to let y'all know what's coming up on TashaKLive.com. After that, we're going to get right on into the show, okay? Let's go. So we have Corey SSG in the wine cellar. You're a rapper. You blew up back in 2016 as a YouTube couple sensation with your wife, Carmen Pritchett. You both have amassed millions of views across social media, showcasing your married life, your kids, pranks, and lavish, real lavish lifestyle. The world fell in love with both of you, and you have since divorced your wife and called her out for not appreciating you as a good husband, being a bad mother, and losing herself. You have been very vocal about your split. Carmen has also alleged that you were mentally abusive and made her participate in threesomes to please you, only for you to still turn around and cheat on her with other women and her friends. You guys have been married for, what, around five? Five years. Five years, mm -hmm. okay. You've been active on social media the entire time. Yes. Okay. Since the whole relationship started, really. I know you and Corey have since, you know, reconciled. Now, he said that. Reconversated. After he did get on social media to drag you, I was just like, How, what the f could you have said to her to make her want to take you back? He didn't get that far. You're saying now, you and Carmen are now going to work things out. Mm -hmm. Are you going to move to Houston or is she going to move to Miami? We actually going to go to Alabama. So you're not moving to Alabama with him? No, why would I? Why would I? So I why know. would Corey think y'all, he went to get his wife back and said, both of y'all are moving to Alabama okay, and moving out together? Okay, assistant moving to Alabama. <laughs> <laughs> I'm confused. <laughs> it didn't feel like old times when y'all was together. When you in front of your wife, you know, you looking at eyes to eyes, and you know, and then you see that, and it's just like everything just all, and they were like, I can say that, like, damn, I miss you. You know what I'm saying? There's no emotions attached when it comes to speaking of a situation, repetitive, you know? Yeah. Like, it's, it's just repetitive, like. <laughs> So Let's talk about the new guy that I have. How about that? That's like, yeah. what I'm saying. So I, what is the stark contrast between your old relationship and your new guy now? Your daughter has accused you of the most heinous thing. She said that you f***ed her for 10 years. My body gave him a reaction that I didn't want. Mm. My daughter said, Dad, if you didn't do it, you need to go on the show. You need to do an interview. My father wasn't the only person that was touching me. Brandon Freeman. Your sister has waged war against your dad. And you as well, too. My two older brothers was as well. You've been around for about 20 years. Mm -hmm. You've been in Chantel's life. You know her very well. She watched him beat my ass. I was raised to, if you know something's wrong, say something. You were featured on Breakbeat Media's channel and you detailed um, abuse that happened to you from age five to 15 years old. And this alleged abuse took a place by not only your mom, but your dad and your two brothers. It's very important for me to tell my story to bring awareness to the black community. 21 years old after having a baby, right? Mm -hmm. My dad is not circumcised. He has meat everywhere. Your dad goes off to the side. The police make him pull down his pants. Mm -hmm. That man is fully circumcised. Mm -hmm. How is it that you 
If this man allegedly took your took your virginity, mm -hmm. you have been sucking his dick since you was five. Mm -hmm. You have been in and out of his house your entire childhood. How is it that you don't know the difference between what a circumcised man is and what an uncircumcised man is? Uh, when he saw that my hymen wasn't no longer attached, my father started to full gauge, have full blown sex with me. You say I was sleeping with all these women in her video. She said I had all these women, but she wasn't lying. Plenty. 15, 20 at all times. So I was risking her life. So I'm sleeping with them women, then I'm running up in her room. Then why would I be asking you if you're a virgin? I don't remember when I lost my virginity. I don't know. I don't know if it was one of my brothers. I don't know if it was my dad. I don't know. So your mama saying you lying. Your daddy's saying you lying. Your story and what, you what, not being able man, to remember. What, what man is gonna, okay, so how about this? How about this? I'm such a liar. And it's not I just a man. I would pay my. I would pay money myself to take a lot of test tests and do whatever. You do a lot of tests. I swear to God, I will. If you okay. want me to do it right now, I do it right now. Hey, I swear hey guys, to God, I will. Can we get a, a lie detector test uh, down here, please? Yeah, she. Yeah, she don't talk to Clarence, and and you know, Clarence apparently gave her documentation. She told me she wanted me to do a lot of tests and shit like that. Oh, yeah, wait a minute, you, you. Yeah. Brother. All right, winos. If you enjoyed shows like this and would like to see more with me live on stage, then be sure to join me March 10th in Atlanta, Georgia, at the Uptown Comedy Corner. Tickets on sale right now. Link in the description box as well as in the bio. And don't you worry, I'm bringing the wine. And Tatty, damn it, okay? See y'all soon. And <laughs> we're back. So listen, this is my official birthday Friday. I can't even say the word. I am too grown for this. YouTube. Come on now. I can't say F word like early. This is like I'm about to be 42. Oh my God. I'm so excited. Like, this is crazy. You know what I want for my birthday? I just want y'all asses in Atlanta at the Uptown Comedy Corner on Sunday at the 8.30 p.m. show. We got some tickets left. We already sold out the first show. That's all I want for my birthday. Bring all your flowers, everything that you bring to me. I'm going to fly them all back to Florida. I cannot wait to see you. Oh, my God. That's all I want for my birthday. I just want to work with y'all and drink with y'all. Okay. All right. Let's go on and get started. Viewer discretion is advised. Hold on. I got to sneeze. on. So after we had the Kellogg's uh, CEO come out to say poor people eat cereal, and he he late to the party, we been eating that until it got high. Just like McDonald's is real high too. Like I had McDonald's in about two years. Ever since I shit my baby off, cause he he love them French fries. Lord Jesus, I was like my baby eating fries that roaches won't even eat. No, and that's a fact. And I know because I grew up and we had roaches in the Grand Am. I don't know if you had a Grand Am, but the roaches lived in the Grand Am. When we got ready to go, they left the house, got in a car with us, went to the store, ate what we ate, but they refused to eat the McDonald's french fries. That period. Okay? They said, do not play with them. Get them some better food. Now, um, yeah, I'm, I'm here to educate us on the food because we got to know what we're putting in our body. Okay? Period. And so, um, you know, shout out to the Neighborhood Talk. I believe they were the one that posted this video. And so we're just going to make sure that we, we spread the word around here. So them Roman noodles that we used to eat that used to be 10 cents a pack. Who remembers when they was 10 cents a pack? Huh? Who remember that? You get the whole box of 10 for a dollar. Boy, when my mama them discovered them, she stopped cooking. <laughs> I said, Mama, what happened to the... This was back when I used to eat poor pork chops and gravy and applesauce and green beans, fried chicken. You know what I'm saying? What happened to that? Now she done discovered she can feed the kids <laughs> three times a day for $3. Seriously. Like, I, if you could not beat it. Everybody, Piggly Wiggly had them. I don't know if y'all remember Piggly Wiggly if you're from the South. Abbasses, all them little stores, Food Lion, you know what I'm saying? In Atlanta, Food Depot. <laughs> but the Chinese been on to some stuff. I see why. Listen, we're going to talk about the TikTok stuff on, on, on Sunday, okay? However, the Chinese ain't. They, now, you know they don't. They say in the government, say they don't. They don't fuck with us like that, okay? And you know that this originates from China. Now, what they feed us 
is not what they feed themselves. We have been in enough Chinese restaurants to see the difference in what they serve to us on the menu and what they eat and right there at the front desk while they checking you out. Okay, playing with money and eating at the same time with their hands and chopsticks. Now, um, viewer discretion is advised. Apparently, they done found live things. They not roaches no more. Okay, they they have they have evolved. And they're in the food. And so just like the roaches left our house to the car, ate what we ate, whatever we eat, and these little things is eating too. Here you go. Hope you ain't eating. Now, this, th now th these are next level. These come all the way from China to the United States and into your home. So we don't know how long they've been living in the past, how long they've been shipping and sitting in the stalls, how long they've been. And you know, it's a solid pack, so no, nothing can get in the pack, so which means where they get this plastic from that we balling and eating because the noodles is plastic. Don't even play. Don't even try to play like it ain't plastic. They just boil it down. But because they say we eat about, I want to say, a few gallons of plastic a year. And if you really poor, you eat more than that, we'll be all right. And so who cares? Plastic with some plastic noodles with, with some bugs that we ain't never heard of or seen. We good. We good. They giving them to the folks anyway and to the eight mile folks. Moving on. So, George Santos. I'm a fan. I don't know what y'all. I'm a fan of the cinema. I, 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 listen, <laughs> this is a new day, new time. So, George Santos, hold on, let me pull up the little article real quick. He decided, even after he's been charged, he's been made to resign from his seat and things like that, that he was elected by the people to sit in. They found that he was lying on his application. He decided to quit his job and reapply. He said, y'all haven't officially given him a notice of termination. Neither have y'all locked him up, okay? So let me go on and pull this little article up real quick. Because he said, y'all going to stop playing on his name. He around here standing on business. Okay? Now, I don't know why the internet not working. I know before the show had started. Now, he is running for Congress again. All right? After he was fired. So, he's back in the Congress. And the indicted, ousted former House Republican announced tonight that he plans... Uh, to primary rep Nick LaLota in New York on Long Island, Santos posted the news in the middle of President Biden's State of the Union address where President Biden was yelling like me, okay, which he attended and then insulted my promises that I would never back down because of my love for this country. Santos posted on X, okay. New York has, has had a real conservative uh, represent them, hasn't had a real conservative represent them, uh, Donald Trump, and um, there's been a few, okay, that's true to the game, okay? Now, he faces 23 federal fraud charges, just as many as Bishop Lamar Whitehead. <laughs> Shout out to Pam Esquire for keeping us updated on that trial, because I know she is in that courtroom every day. They say that man ain't got no witnesses. We're talking about Bishop Lamar Whitehead, the one with the missing tooth on the side. Um, they say he's his only witness <laughs> against the state of New York <laughs> in these fraud allegations, okay? And we shall keep you updated when we get a victory, okay? Now, <laughs> I don't know what, why black folks AKA, you know, some Negroes like to play with the government. They know they need bodies to work these camps, okay? 
modern day concentration camp. Now, um, to raise <laughs> after Santos, we back to George Santos now, uh, is facing 23 federal charges and his trial is scheduled to begin in September to raise the standard in Congress and to hold a pathological, hold on for a second, hold on, hold on, hold on, yep, okay. I, I don't know who wrote this article at all. Oh, it's Politico, and they just done skipped over some words and, and you know, transition words and lead-ins and adverbs and stuff like that. So basically, Trump gave him the inspiration to want to rerun. He said, if Trump got RICO cases all over the country, why should I give up? Now, this is different. Now, here, here's, now let's go through all the lies, okay, um, that George Santos has told. And I'm saying this for a reason, okay, because <coughs> every culture has a has has a liar. What'd you say? Hold on for a second. I'm drinking my water. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Mm. Every culture has a liar. A pathological liar. A sociopath. Now we've covered George Santos in great detail, okay? Now, there's a list. All you gotta do is Google what, what lies did George Santos tell, okay? Now, he told lies all the way from where his money came from, him working on Wall Street, him being gay or straight or trans, what college he went to, where his parents are from. He lied on his loan applications. <laughs> One second. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I got to get all the lies now. He swindled disabled vets whose dogs was dying, okay? Basically told him he was going to help the dying dogs and then open the gate like black folk. <laughs> just said they're going to die. Just said all you got to do is just swing the gate open and they're they going to go die. <laughs> Bury themselves, okay? Sorry to all the dog lovers out here. <clears throat> he also ripped off an Amish dog breeder with a bad check. Okay, now he's uh, there's been discrepancies in his marriages, but he's the first openly gay non incumbent Republican elected to Congress. Okay, uh, hold on, it's unclear if his mother uh, uh succumbed to 9 11. I mean, he said all this to run for office. I mean, it ain't no different than these politicians lying to us. His grandmother was not a part of the, the H word. Not the whole culture, the other one. The H-O-L-O-C-A-U-S-T. You know I can't say that, okay? Um, hold on for a second. He did not have employees who died in the post shooting. His niece did not get kidnapped either. Yeah. Uh, is he Jew or Jewish? <laughs> we clearly, George Santos is not Jewish. Santos says it all. Listen, hold on. Uh, was he a drag queen in Brazil? Hold on for a second. Okay, was George Santos a Han on Hannah Montana? These are all the lies that George Santos told. Was he a Broadway producer? Okay. Um, is he really a journalist in Brazil? Oh, we're going to keep going. His campaign has reportedly, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. He was the target of an assassination. <laughs> Hold on, hold on. We ain't even done. We ain't even done. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We ain't done. Okay. He allegedly lied to donors and used their money to make purchases at Herms stores and OnlyFans. And I meant what I said, Herms. Because that's what we called it before we knew what it actually stood for. And that's when we was able to afford it. Herms. Hermes when you got the money. Okay. Uh, he used campaign money for personal travel and Botox. And he allegedly tried to uh, collect unemployment benefits. Now, <laughs> in New York, <laughs> concrete jungle where dreams are made of, there's nothing you can But, like I said, there's always a version of who they try to paint us to be. Now, a lot of people been out here dragging Legion. <laughs> Le 
Legion does not act alone, okay? So, Risa Tisa, who the, did I get, who, did, who the F did I marry? We interviewed Legion's first family. Risa Tisa is either the second or the third family, okay? So, we went back to the root, to the tutor of how all this started. But when he lied about where he went to college and who his parents was and was they in the the H-O-L-O-C-A-U-S-T, um, unemployment benefits, going to college, all this stuff. Was he gay, straight, drag? We don't know. Was he married? Who was he married to? How much money did he make? Does he save dogs? You know what I'm saying? All I could think about was Legion. <laughs> Shout out to the little boy that, that interviewed Legion. Because when I tell you, when they asked Legion about that Arizona State degree, they said, well, do you have a copy of the degree? He said, no. He said, I tried to call the University of Arizona State, but you know, they, they destroy all the, the former alumni records for privacy and protection because of all the, the, the school pow-pows. Uh, that's my new word, pew-pew and pow-pows. Um, and so you know, I couldn't get the Arizona State degree, nor could I get a reference from the college at all. So y'all just going to have to do without it. <laughs> Say he was talking to invisible, invisible friends <laughs> on the phone. Y'all better have y'all subscription to TashaGayLaw.com because his first family came through. And ja I know I'm finna get, <laughs> all right, Jasmine, all right, Jasmine. Jasmine said don't do it, Tasha, it's too early. <laughs> I gotta wait. I know I gotta wait. Uh, that's what happens when you're too real. I'm so sorry. Lord, forgive me, okay? We just gonna let y'all enjoy the series from the first family. <laughs> let y'all see the <laughs> let y'all see the whole picture. Justin said, no, 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 no. <laughs> but it was a rather interesting interview. Yes, it was, okay? So listen, y'all got y'all George Santos. We got our Legion. We even I don't wanna hear nothing, nothing no more, okay? Let these men. Lie in peace. And I'm a fan of Legion. I can't wait to his Netflix. That's, that's who they should have gave a show to. Not Risa, Legion. His, his create, the fact that he able to have conversations with Miguel for years. I was at a time, that's who Netflix and Hollywood need to hire. As an actor, writer, producer. Or maybe he just need to run for office. I know. I know. Daddy, you see that? <laughs> wait, George Santos said, wait. Wait, I know you ain't. Mm -mm. Uh-uh, who's the biggest liar? Moving on. Let me see what y'all talking about in the comments. Who, who got their tickets? Tasha K on stage.com. <laughs> This Sunday, we're going to be in Atlanta at the Uptown Comedy Corner. We got a few tickets left, all right? That second show is almost sold out. They starting at $20. Please make sure you get your tickets. Every seat is a great seat. If you've been to a comedy club, you know. It don't matter where you sit. I'm still going to be in the crowd with y'all, okay? So I love y'all. I can't wait to celebrate my birthday this Sunday, March 10th. It's officially Pisces season. <laughs> Yes, so I can't wait. Tasha K on stage.com. I hope to see you on Sunday. Drop the ticket emojis if you already got your ticket to L City, including Atlanta. And Baltimore, y'all up next. So I can't wait. All right, Indianapolis, we coming. Okay, we coming. Just, just hold your thoughts. <sighs> Columbia Records. Okay, now hold on for a second. Hold on. Let me make sure I get the facts because you know these record labels got money hidden. They will pull money from our artists. Okay, to make sure. We don't get this news, the facts, wrong when it comes to them. Now, nah, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. What? Mm, mm, mm. I must ain't paid my internet bill. It's slow. It's real slow today. Huh? <laughs> All right, now. Now, I'm going to give y'all an example. So I don't have Ron DeSantos on, on, on this screen, but I should, okay? And so this is a prime example of why Ron DeSantos is cutting DEI programs, okay? Discriminatory, equity, what's the, what's the integration programs, okay? So basically the, the I can, can I say the R word? I, I can't say it. The, the set asides for the poor people, for the, the, the black people, for the oppressed people, they, he say they, damn, Jasmine fast. He say they, 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 they 
racist, okay? And he said, I don't understand how we create an ACEST program, at, with the R, so do, do your math, an ACEST program, and y'all still find a way to make it ACEST when we deny you, okay? <laughs> That's why we got Rachel, Rachel Dolezal, and we got uh, people that are now trans white, trans black, and everything. But Columbia Records was just hit with a lawsuit following an alleged discriminatory hiring practices against white people. Now this, this is what Ron DeSantos is pissed off about. That white folks have found a way to sue because they don't have money set aside for them even though they use our labor and continue to use brown and black labor to build their money, but they still want it all for themselves. Some of them, not all, allegedly, okay? That's what I said. Now. Columbia Records was hit with a lawsuit following alleged discriminatory practices, okay, for not hiring enough white people. But we know when white people are making the money at the top. So now, according to Baller Alert, Columbia Records is being sued for discrimination by a former executive assistant of Chief Executives Ron Perry. Now he got a high title. And it still ain't enough, Lord Jesus, okay? Last week, Patria Paulano filed a lawsuit claiming that she was compelled to resign after resisting hiring practices that reportedly favored black applicants over white ones. I'm gonna give you an example of what this is, okay? So just give me a second, okay? Now, uh, uh, let me make sure I get this right. Let me. Paulino says she was told only to consider black candidates because Perry aimed to enhance diversity representation. And this is what Ron DeSantos was talking about. He said there's too many lawsuits and his state ain't got enough money because we don't have enough occupancy here in Florida. Florida got the most occupancies all in the state and they cannot be drowned out by these lawsuits accusing them of being racist of white people. How can, can we truly be racist when it comes to white people? Is there enough of us to do that? I, 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 okay. Now, uh, hold on, hold on. However, in court submission on Wednesday, the company's attorneys dismissed the allegations as a contradictory, as contradictory and false. She alleges under New York State and New York City law, the defendants both discriminated against her because they preferred white employees, but also, also constructively discharged her because she would not play along with their preferences for non-white employees. Now, you know the NAACP got to come check in once a year to see how many black folks y'all got working to promote this black people music that y'all doing in Columbia Records. It's heavy in the black community. That was their bread and butter, okay? Let's, let's not play games but the fact that they found a loophole now just like we got that police officer up in Chicago that's suing because he's saying black people are getting promoted faster than he is because he's I don't know if he white Arab or whatever but he said he black now he want to change his race and this is what's going on white folks have now after we got the transgenders passed they're gonna pass a law called trans black trans white, trans Asian, and they gonna start suing. And Ron DeSanto said, not in my state you won't. Not in my state. It ain't no different than black people figuring out that bankruptcy is, is, is good too, you know? It's what happens, you know? White people invent something for them to save their companies. Black people, you know, if they, they do their homework, they can realize that you can do it too. <laughs> it wasn't meant for us, but hey, where's the law that say we can't do it? <laughs> look at me. I look. I look broke. Amazing. Listen, <laughs> moving on. All right. Now, I know y'all, listen, listen, I just report the news, okay? Some of it, most of it I do break. Who enjoyed that? That family secrets expose. Who enjoyed the cookout news? I mean, you know, 
I need the family. That's what we're going to call this segment, the family cookout news. When I start dragging family and my family and stuff, it's going to be the family cookout news. Now, my family is open. I told them. They want to do interviews, they can do interviews. That We have no problem here. Whoever want to reach out to any family member that I got, it is an open season, open world, all right? Now, just like I say something and they got the right to respond, I got the right to respond too. So, you know, it, it's a family affair. Glad y'all finally, after all these years, if you true winos, got to know my stepsister, my evil stepsister. But they calling me the evil stepsister. Now, I know a lot of y'all was talking about her head and stuff in her face. This is just a little prelude. Okay. All right. We ain't going to get too much into this because I'm going to wait till I get to Atlanta on their turf to drag and say what I got to say. Since folks say, oh, this ain't no internet shit. Well, I'm in your city. I'm in Atlanta on Sunday. We're at the Uptown Comedy Corner. Make sure you get your tickets. Matter of fact, I'll leave him too for him and his hoe at the door. Okay? Matter of fact, I will set him aside just in case he want to show up. Now, I know you're wondering where she got that hairline from. Her daddy. Okay? Uh, <laughs> Y'all ask how old she was. 38. I know she has the face of a 47-year-old. It's the Botox fillers. She got her nose shaved down because her dad, she got her whole dad's face. I asked my mama to send me a picture of Harold, you know. And by the way, Mama Lynn is with all the shits. <laughs> mama Lynn said, I told y'all, don't play with my daughter. She be out here telling my she don't mess with me, but Tasha will be the first to drag you by your hairline. When you come for me. Can't nobody come for my mama but me. Don't play with me. That's my mama. That's my mama. She already remarried and moved on and your mammy have it. Listen, Lynette, cause Lynette cute. Lynette cute. Now, uh, just in case you guys are wondering, so we're gonna continue with this saga uh, at the cookout on Sunday at the Uptown Comedy Corner. Make sure you got your tickets. Tasha K on stage, because I'm coming to their city to say what I got to say. <laughs> I already told Tasha, listen. I'm here. What's up? What's up, Josh? What's up, Josh? What's, where, where you at, Josh? You better go get your hair cut and color like mine, too, before you come try to check me. Moving on. I told you, ain't nobody off limits. Let me see what y'all talking about in the comments. I don't care who don't like it. Y'all don't like it. Yeah, but she had her nose, like, shaved down at the top because she had a hump. And then her nose came down long. She looked just like her daddy. I'm telling you, I'm going to put the picture out of her daddy. Just give me a few days. It'll be in Atlanta. I'm going to have Harold on screen. I sure am. My stepdaddy, rest in peace. Yes. So, um, he <laughs> anyway. <laughs> the wig is placed. That's because her hairline is receding. Now y'all finna make her go to Turkey and bring the hairline back here. I'm telling you what's about to happen. I'm telling you. She already right now on social media. Just go to her page, Gloria Cordero. She in the car with the weave, knowing the wig going to possibly slip off. I don't know what it's hooked on to. Now, not y'all got the nose. <laughs> but I'm just saying, anybody can get the people right here to my old Tasha K. Da, 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 da. Everybody from Bay County know me. They, they in the comments right now on Facebook. Leave my family out of it. Uh-uh. We all family. It ain't just your family. It's my family, too. And besides, I drag other people's families. I hear why I can't drag mine. What makes y'all so special? If I sit up here and talk about everybody else's family, why I can't talk about my family? Who, who made the rules? Moving on, shout out to Bay County, Panama City, Florida. Like I said, I'm going to go get, I'm going to go, and I'm going to donate and get a Hollywood star walk on the fame, okay? So how you a doctor that ain't never had a nigga take a picture with you? Stay on more vacations and on surgery tables than you do doing surgery. You the doctor. Now, again, I just support the ruse. Beautiful black couple, okay? Now, after he got released, and I said, that's a hell of a payday. He got, he hit a lick. However, if you are numbers people, pull out your calculators. Matter of fact, if you true numbers people, you can do it in your head. So, Sierra ain't got no money coming in. He bought a master's. 
Spotify is paying for over 1 billion streams, $40,000. Now, according to Sandra Rose, shout out to Sandra Rose. I've been following Sandra Rose for many, 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 many years, okay? And Sandra Rose ain't told no lies. She ain't even told no lies on me. <laughs> and she don't even with me, okay? Now, um, when you pull up the article when it comes to the SandraRose.com, because we have to give credit when credit is due, um, apparently, hold on, apparently they have two mansions immediately on the market for sale. Now, a lot of people say, well, he's no longer needed in Denver. He moved from Seattle because he had a house in Seattle. But here's the thing. When you got an $85 million payout, your expenses are $1 million a month. They're giving you $85 million to just go. You don't have a job right now. Your wife don't work. All she does is walk from the fireplace to the camera. Beautiful. Okay? They are selling two mansions right now because of your expenses of $1 million a month. You got offices, you got employees, and you got two homes a $25 million home in Denver, and a $40 million home in Washington State that has been on the market since 2022. 2022. Now, this is according <laughs> to the New York Post. Since y'all want to say, dang, bro, <laughs> numbers, $85 million. Your expenses is $1 million a year. You got 50 no, actually, you got um, $60 million worth of homes that haven't sold that he's having to fork the expenses for to sell instead of just putting them on Airbnb or for rent. But I don't think no rent going to cover that. That's why you don't buy the most expensive house in the area when you only there for a short time. You rent and you carry on. But he done bought one and another to impress, and now he done got fired on his day off, went to show up for practice. They said, no, sir, no, this is, we, your, your badge don't work. He, he I, I just want to give a commemorative speech. Um, I love you. Thank you so much for taking me. And I'm going to tell you something. I'm going to tell you something, because this happened to a rapper out here, has been rapper. These people will pay you all this money, right? If it does not sell and they release you or don't air your stuff after they pay millions of dollars, what other company or team is going to come hire you after this company reported that they took an almost $100 million loss? So bad, they let you go two years early, actually three years early out of your contract. You got a house on the market in Seattle that ain't sold, that's $40 million, that you're going to have to take a hit on. Now you got the house in Denver up for sale. You got to carry mortgages in both houses and still continue to pay for her to walk from the fireplace to the camera for Instagram, and Instagram ain't monetized. But $85 million is 85 months. That's a car payment. So in five years, if he don't get rid of these houses, which he's going to take a loss on and still have to owe the bank millions of dollars because he's trying to impress Instagram? If you're going to walk, walk on the stage and sell some music. It, I, 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 this ain't no hating. This is just facts. This ain't hating. They ain't got no product line. Sierra got beautiful hair. She, she ain't got no clothing line. What product? What's the name of the rum? Have you drank it? Because every time Sierra walk from the bad place to the camera for Instagram, she should have that rum in her hand like this. Taking a shot every time. Hell, I done took shots and I'm breastfeeding. Shit, baby sleep better. Listen, everybody's talking about pump and dump. For what? <laughs> My baby sleep, so am I. My baby chilling. I am too, okay? Now, he only 35 years old. To, I 
after just two years they signed them, gave him a five-year, $242 million contract, so he thought he was good. He spent one-third of the money on houses. One-third of the money on houses. But he didn't anticipate getting fired, and I get it, the hope. The glasses half full type personality. But, sir, numbers don't lie. Now we're officially in a recession. And if Tim Anderson ain't been an example for that, having three houses, so much so he got the house and the, 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 the wife and the children living in a separate house. He has his own house, and then he has another family. He's $120 million, got fired for going off at work, basically cussing somebody out. Same thing I did when I got fired from season 52 and had to come work here. Still cussing folks out. Still getting fined and fired. It's just my personality. I ain't changing, you know? But yeah, like you, guys, $85 million ain't gonna last that long. He has to downsize fast. He has people around him that need to be paid. He has to do a massive layoff. And like I said, if Tim Anderson ain't an example from $120 million to him having to take a $5 million one-year contract after the Denver Broncos have released you and said that they took a loss, that you not, they devalued the man right before the world, and y'all talking about, oh, he good. No, he ain't. No, he's not. And he got to sell fast. And I don't know who's who going to get the about $60 million worth of houses. And they've been on the market since 2022. Time for an Airbnb or a rooming house. You take that room up there, you take that room. <laughs> Pray for him. Pray for me, too. I ain't got no money either. Shit. I'm in the same boat. Damn. <laughs> I just... If I got something, I'm, I'm walking in the camera with it. Like them tickets this Sunday. Tasha K on stage.com. We in Atlanta for my birthday. Let's go. Oh, Jesus. All right, listen, we got to take a short break. After the break, we definitely got Tyler, Sexy Red having the same break tour, Jake Paul and Mike Tyson. The Freemans is coming back up. Okay, Clarence Freeman, Chantel Freeman. Definitely Blueface, uh, Mama, and Mike Epps, and much more, okay? After the break, we'll be right back. We got some sponsors that we need to brag about, which is our sponsors, which means Bowley Razor Glass, too. Let's go! So we have Corey SSG in the wine cellar. You're a rapper. You blew up back in 2016 as a YouTube couple sensation with your wife, Carmen Pritchett. You both have amassed millions of views across social media, showcasing your married life, your kids, pranks, and lavish, real lavish lifestyle. The world fell in love with both of you, and you have since divorced your wife and called her out for not appreciating you as a good husband, being a bad mother, and losing herself. You have been very vocal about your split. Carmen has also alleged that you were mentally abusive and made her participate in threesomes to please you only for you to still turn around and cheat on her with other women and her friends. You guys have been married for, what, around five? Five years. Five years, mm -hmm. okay. You've been active on social media the entire time. Yes, Okay. Since the whole relationship started, really. I know you and Corey have since, you know, reconciled. Now he said that. Reconciled after he did get on social media to drag you, I was just like, How, what the f could you have said to her to make her want to take you back? He didn't get that far. You're saying now, you and Carmen are now going to work things out. Mm -hmm. Are you going to move to Houston or is she going to move to Miami? We actually going to go to Alabama. So you're not moving to Alabama with him? No, why would I? Why would I? So I why know. would Corey think y'all, he went to get his wife back and said both of y'all are moving to Alabama okay, and moving out together? Okay, assistant moving to Alabama. <laughs> <laughs> I'm confused. <laughs> it did it feel like old times when y'all was together. When you in front of your wife, you know, you looking at eyes to eyes, and you know, and then you see that, and it's just like everything just all, and they're like, I can say that, like, damn, I miss you. You know what I'm saying? There's no emotions attached when it comes to speaking on a situation. Repetitive, you know? Yeah. Like it's, it's just repetitive, like. <laughs> So Let's talk about a new guy that I have. How about that? That's like, yeah. what I'm saying. So I, what is the stark contrast between your old relationship and your new guy now? Your daughter has accused you of the most heinous thing. She said that you f***ed her for 10 years. My body gave him a reaction that I didn't want. Mm. My daughter said, Dad, if you didn't do it, 
you need to go on the show, you need to do an interview. My father wasn't the only person that was touching me. Brandon Freeman, your sister has waged war against your dad. And you as well too. My two older brothers was as well. You've been around for about 20 years. Mm -hmm. You've been in Chattel's life. You know her very well. She watched him beat my ass. I was raised to, if you know something's wrong, say something. You were featured on Breakbeat Media's channel and you detailed um, abuse that happened to you from age five to 15 years old. And this alleged abuse took a place by not only your mom, but your dad and your two brothers. It's very important for me to tell my story to bring awareness to the black community. 21 years old after having a baby, right? Mm -hmm. My dad is not circumcised. He has meat everywhere. Your dad goes off to the side. The police make him pull down his pants. Mm -hmm. That man is fully circumcised. Mm -hmm. How is it that you, if this man allegedly took your, took your virginity, mm -hmm. you have been sucking his dick since you was five. Mm -hmm. You have been in and out of his house mm -hmm. your entire childhood. How is it that you don't know the difference between what a circumcised man is and what an uncircumcised man is? Uh, when he saw that my hymen wasn't no longer attached, my father started to full gauge, have full blown sex with me. You say I was sleeping with all these women in her video. She said I had all these women, but she wasn't lying. Plenty. 15, 20 at all times. So I was risking her life. I was sleeping with them women, then I'm running up in her room. Then why would I be asking you if you're a virgin? I, I don't remember when I lost my virginity. I don't know. I don't know if it was one of my brothers. I don't know if it was my dad. I don't know. So your mama saying you lying. Your daddy saying you lying. Your story and what, you what, not being what able man, to remember. What, what man is gonna, okay, so how about this? How about this? I'm such a liar. And it's not I just a pay, man. I will pay my. I will pay money myself to take a lot of tested tests and do whatever. You'll do a lot of tests. I swear to God, I will. If you okay. want me to do it right now, I do it right now. Hey, I hey swear guys, to God, I will. Can we get a, a lie detector test uh, down here, please? Yeah, she. Yeah, she don't talk to Clarence, and and you know. Parents apparently gave her documentation. She told me she wanted me to do a lot of technical tests and shit like that. Wait a minute, you, you, yeah. All right, Winos, if you enjoyed shows like this and would like to see more with me live on stage, then be sure to join me March 10th in Atlanta, Georgia at the Uptown Comedy Corner. Tickets on sale right now. Link in the description box as well as in the bio. And don't you worry, I'm bringing the wine and Teddy, damn it, okay? See y'all soon. Uh -huh. <laughs> I can't wait to see y'all Sunday. We in Atlanta for my birthday. March 10th is actually my real birthday, okay? Whew, I cannot wait to party with y'all. Don't forget, we got tickets left for the 8.30 show, TashaKOnStage.com. Tickets starting at $20. There's no bad seat in the house. They got good food at the Uptown Comedy Corner. And yeah, we finished we finished show out because Naples, whoo, we was lit. Y'all saw the video. I didn't have to lie. I don't have to lie. Listen, I, I ain't got a cap for nobody. Okay? We ain't out here. We out here really selling tickets. There's a lot of people out here that just don't want to work. You know, they just don't want to. All right. Um Nada! I'm trying to pose like her since, you know, she say I forget to wear my girdle and I'm praying on no girdle on. This is my stomach. Okay? Mm hmm Yeah, it's just natural woman things. Okay? Um, Netta. Netta, Netta. Got them Spanx stretched out like that. If I was Spanx, I would sue you. That's not how they supposed to look. They supposed to suck in. Now, you are defeating the purpose of what a spank really is. And spanks ain't strong enough just for, they, for the matter of fact, spanks ain't even made for men. Here's the thing. Uh, you've been out here talking a lot of shit, okay? A lot of shit. And uh, bef <laughs> next time before you open your mouth, can you please, for the life of just us, Make sure you attempt to look down and tuck that shit in. I don't want to hear nothing else from that nigga. So my stomach out, so is your dick. Teddy got the same size as her. 
I think Teddy a little bigger. Look at Charles looking down at it. Because he's like, I cannot believe. The Spanx can't hold it in. That's what I'm telling you. If I was the owner of Spanx, I would sue her. You, you, you talk. That's what her, I know it's got to hurt. You know, them because them Spanx be cutting. Women that wear Spanx, we know they be cutting up. They will give you hemorrhoids they cut so far up your ass. So I know they cutting, and I just don't understand how the, that got away. How? Let me see the comments. It's like, this man going to leave me alone? This man going to leave me alone? Look, look at that child. Don't open your mouth by me no more, okay? Don't open my, don't, my, my, my cat ain't falling out. It's not. And if I, if I was charged, like, if I was charged, you would have to cook for me. You have to do something. Because that, right, that, that, I've seen women with the same size clip as you. Oh, no, I'm compared, Teddy. We're not playing. I'm compared. Don't play. Uh-uh. 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 No. Moving on. Nana! Your dick is ready. <sighs> Make me sweat. Make me water. Make me lose my breath. Make me water. So the only reason she done made the lineup today is because, you know, we know bullshit when we see it. All right? Now, uh, she's canceling her, her tour, her worldwide tour. Um, Nyla, the TikTok sensation. Tyler, shit, Tyler. That's that's how much I don't even know her name. She ain't even been branded long enough. Only thing I know is water. <laughs> that's all I know. Pretty girl, you know she's South African and stuff. But she said, "My tigers, ti tigers, yeah." All of you know that at this moment you have helped me transform into a reality that has been a lifelong dream. I am so graceful and humbled by this past year and the way it's changed my life. I can never thank you guys for all of your love and support, all of the joy and laughter and wins. As much as this is something I would rather not dealt, I would rather dealt with in private. It is important that I share, that I have to share with you today. For the past year, I've been silently suffering with an injury that has tragically worsened. I've seen doctors and specialists with high hopes with the pain that has only become more agonizing as the severity of the situation. I am absolutely heartbroken to have to say this, but as of right now, I won't be able to proceed with the tour. And consulting with medical professionals has become increasingly clear that continuing any festival or tour dates will jeopardize jeopardize my long-term health and safety. Words cannot describe my frustration at this pivotal point in my career, so please know that my team and I are working diligently on a spectacular show for you as soon as I'm recovered and ready to return safely on stage this summer. For North American headline dates, get your, tic your tickets will automatically be refunded. For all of the other territories, you will be contacted by your ticket provider regarding the options. Please look out for new dates and information. Thank you, my Tigers, for your understanding. Y'all are going to see me around, Tigers. Don't you worry too much. Now, everybody, I see y'all in the comments talking about COVID did it. <laughs> y'all talking about it was a COVID shot. <laughs> no. That was Celine Dion's uh, uh, excuse. But she came out and her face was moving. She said she couldn't move it. And they was like, it, her, her shit was getting worse. We're talking about Celine Dion. We don't need her up here, Jasmine. But all I know is uh, Taylor Swift, she was so stiff, Taylor Swift swiftly went past her and didn't thank her uh, for giving her that award when she won Album of the Year that night. She took it from Beyonce. Now, this particular situation is lies. Here's what I'm saying. How do you have one song? One song. And you have an international tour. Huh? Sex kitten? One song. We supposed to go to concerts and be able to dance to all your songs. Can anybody name any other songs? B 
Besides make me sweat. And it's probably where she got the injury from. Throwing, throwing bones back. She was throwing bones back there. She wasn't throwing no ass. It was bone. And I, we only like the hook. But they doing international tours for one song? Guys, come on. That's like me having one show and I'm saying I'm going on tour. One show. Them tickets weren't selling. Somebody done gave up false hopes, told her she going to be an international star. Reality check. <laughs> Baby, you got to stay home and you got to fake a personal injury in order to uh, be rebooked for your next tour that could possibly happen, but it's not going to happen. Too early in your career for you, for your body to already be broke down. It's too, too early. You got to go vegan. Even though she look vegan, you got to go vegan. Speaking of tours ain't selling, now I know y'all been wondering why is Drake with Sexy Red? These are facts, okay? These are facts. And y'all trying to figure out, oh, he's, this is his muse. Drake has always positioned himself with like relevant, underground, up and coming, kind of like street rappers in order to keep himself relevant. He's been doing it for years. Has he built an enormous fan base? Absolutely. But that tour is so bad. I'm watching the TikTok videos. They're saying they're paying $500 for a minimum ticket for Drake to get on the stage and tell people business like me. He ain't got no dancers. He ain't got no theatrics. It's just him walking. Yeah, when I wrote this song, you know, yeah, I took, I took this guy's girl, you know, and um, yeah, I'm a, let me tell you what the inspiration was for the song before I sing the song. It's hot. People in the crowd, they done drove far out. They don't want to hear none of that. They want to be entertained. He basically booked the stage, said, put me on the stage. No DJ. I'm going to give away 100000 per show, and I'm going to tell my life stories. Basically, it was a one-man show. But when them tickets didn't sell for his upcoming um, uh, other tour dates and stuff, that's when we start seeing, you got the... What's your favorite hood hottest princess? Say some motherfucking red. I just want to say, I'm glad I got rich friends that be turning me up and thinking about me. Thank you, Drake. I appreciate you. It just turned the bad bitch up. Four Chanel's. What a north side bitch doing with four new, four new Chanel? Like, what? What? Turn me up there, man. Turn me up there. Yeah. That money look fake. But listen. Um, <clears throat> so he's had to add Sexy Red to the tour. She brought her dancers, and he out there dancing with them. Lil Dirk, and there's one more rapper he added, Lil Wayne. He had, I guess he thought he was Nicki Minaj out here. It's not working. Nicki Minaj could do a tour, pay her IRS debt, book another one. We still going to be there. Talking shit. <laughs> That's all I bitch to talk shit about. Sell your tickets, <laughs> then we can talk. Man, okay, they out here selling eggs. Duck eggs. <sighs> Good luck, Drake. <laughs> Gotta split them profits now. Uh, Mike Tyson finna die. Uh, so I guess he thought it was a good payday to do an exhibition fight with uh, Jake Paul. Uh, Jake Paul is 27 years old. Mike Tyson is 57. And um, they're fighting here, I believe, in June or July. And um, who going to die? <laughs> Stay tuned, and we shall report who. That boy got some power. I ain't going to lie. I, he got some power. And he paid him enough money because Mike Tyson, he said, I'm coming to get this money. I, I'm coming to get it. Even if I got to die to get it, he going to listen, going to get it, then die, they going to use him to bury it with him. Because I'm trying to tell you, they're going to hit him wrong. At 60 years old, you ain't got no business out there getting hit by no 27-year-old for clout. His neck is, is, is sagging. Skin hanging. 
I wish Jasmine would have put that side shot up here. But it's all good. Moving on. Now, who has been watching the Freeman case on TashaKLive.com? Did we do it? Did we do it again? I know y'all done seen the Nature Boy series. Y'all done seen the Larry Reed series. Now you done seen the Freeman case series. And I got to tell you, this family just want to be free from all this. They want to be free. Now, tonight, right after this show, okay, it should end around, let's just say, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, episode four, featuring Chantel Freeman, who got all of these lies started, enters the wine cellar. Her mama enters, too. I ain't even tell y'all that. That's a surprise, okay? Her mama entered the chat in the wine cellar. The one who had the knife over her head when she was a baby. Oh, Chantel had no clue. No clue who she was coming to talk to. Who she, I, I knew she was lying just from the interview. And if you watch the father's interview, and I'm going to have them clip it up and put it out, you'll actually tell what the lie was. That's why everybody on the first episode, they was like, oh, no, no. No, she got 400,000 views right now on Trapping Anonymous, Breakbeat Media's channel, lying on her entire family, because lying is the new clout. If I don't have no talent, I don't have anything to contribute to social media but shaking my ass in Planet Fitness as she does. It would be hard to believe that you got a woman sitting on a platform saying that her daddy did this and there's CPS records that state that she took a razor to her baby's back when she was a baby and cut a checkerboard in her baby's back. But this is y'all victim, social media. This is y'all victim. But we shall give you the victim out of her own mouth tonight, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on TashaKLive.com. And like I said, we got two more interviews that we added to the series just to ensure, just in case somebody want to try and say, oh, oh, no, she got to be telling the truth. Okay. All right, cool. Like I said, she admitted that she lied in the Trapping Anonymous video, and nobody caught it. Nobody caught it. We put it in the daddy's first interview. Out of her own mouth. Nobody called it, but that's okay. That's what we're here for. That's what we're here for. And that's why I, I'm glad that, you know, y'all have been in Clarence's DM. Because I tell you, he's fine. That man ain't got to take no ass. <laughs> he ain't got to take none. None. Y'all didn't believe me. I was like, that old man. <laughs> but I think my husband listened. Let me be quiet, okay? <sighs> but, yes, don't forget, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time tonight, episode four drops tonight, okay? All right. So. So y'all been out here having smoke for me. To my how dare you talk about a baby. I'm not talking about a baby. I just said it's the hills have eyes baby. Okay? Now, we haven't talked about Krishan in a long time. I have been dialing back my coverage. Her star power is dying because clearly we knew who the star was. It's Blueface. And he's in jail. And that same publicity that she was getting when he was out no longer exists now because blogs are really no longer posting her. We are tied. But now the grandmother <laughs> has entered the chat. And I must say she must be an ultimate fan of Tasha K because we already said what we said. But since the family has not entered the chat, I don't want to hear nothing about what I got to say about that baby because she's not the first to drink and smoke with a baby and had a baby doing a back being in Walmart and wonder why the baby got a hernia. Baby in the back screeching, not crying. Go ahead, Carla. Says she drank and because I hear the cry and I see what y'all see, I do feel like there could be a, some type of neurological problem. I do see that. I'm not blind and I'm not dumb. I'm not fixing to play blind or dumb. I'm prepared. I'm prepared to go get my matching helmet with my baby if pa, he need pa, a helmet. Pa, 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 pa. <laughs> she said matching helmets. I'm going to hell. I ain't even got that far. I. <laughs> God, listen, these people gonna eat you up. I can't even say the heels. I thought she said matching helmets. <laughs> Y'all seen the white babies on 
Y'all see y'all see sitting in the living room with helmets on. Why eating cartoons and, 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 and dissolvable cereal so they won't choke on their own shit. <laughs> Let's go. Okay, I'm going to hell. I'm going to hell. Maybe if you need a helmet. That's not the same as you calling somebody. Okay. That's not, we don't even use that word anymore. Remember, they took the word out. And y'all can play dumb all y'all want to. She knows she drank. We know she drank. We know we could see something going on. His daddy not see something going on. We know what come with this. We ain't stupid. And we ain't finna play stupid. And nor will we ever even treat anybody any different if they had if they had a problem or right. not. Right, Carlissa. Keep it real. Everybody got a slow baby or two in their family. We love that baby just as much as we love the normal baby. But make no secret. We tell the baby to their face, man. You know you slow, you got a problem. Sit your ass down. Everyone, everyone. If you got a gay baby in the family, if you got a slow baby in the family, they up at the school. Now, y'all, I don't even know why y'all calling me about him. You know this baby's slow, okay? <laughs> but we still love him, and you better not say nothing about him, okay? Y'all, they slow. They know they slow. And if he's sitting on the floor, rocking back and forth with a helmet on, he ain't bothering nobody. Leave him alone. But now nah, y'all want to sugar toe shit. We ain't sugar coat nothing. We ain't dragging a baby, we dragging a mammy. Just like I was dragging Alexis Sky. Her own family reached out to me and said, <laughs> and then when she said, oh, <laughs> when I see Tasha K, I'm a that, 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 that. I sat right beside her in a restaurant. What's up? What's up? What we doing? What you gonna do? So you need to be out to support your baby. They may be calling you at the school because the baby's just running into the wall. No, no, but they, they got, I'm, listen, I'm old school, I'm from the South. I, I ain't gonna play around. I ain't doing it. You sat your ass up there, shook your ass all year, Long, you out here beating people ass and stuff, and now you wondering why something wrong? No, hell no. This, we're justice for the babies at this point, but you got you got to put it out there. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to hell. It's all good, but I'm going to hell telling the truth. <laughs> so shout out to Carlissa because I'm telling. Hey, 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 and all y'all got a grandmama or somebody right now. <laughs> As soon as the baby came out, now nah, something wrong with it. <laughs> something wrong with that baby, but we just gonna love that baby. And nobody better not tell that baby they slow. You better not, you better not tell my baby they slow. Sit your slow ass down. Just like I told you, we got a gay baby. Take off my motherfucking heels and make up. Get out of my room, Michael. <laughs> Grandmama, can I help you back here? No! Go outside and play with them niggas. They're going to beat my ass. <laughs> but I know. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> black women, listen to me. And I'm speaking only to black women. Okay? Because I'm black first. All the other ones, listen, I get it, but I'm black first. Before we put this video up, what you're seeing here is what I've been saying for years, and y'all have been calling me a hater, okay? Y'all have been saying you're jealous. Y'all have been saying you can look this good too. I am telling you without a shadow of a doubt, I used to have somebody work for me, and this particular person, at the time, this long, long, long time ago, sent pictures to somebody in jail. And the people at the jail said, that's a man. Y'all are going crazy with these weaves, these, these young, long, wavy, silky hair coming at your forehead. Thick, big, thick eyebrows, lashes, 
lip injections, cheek injections, ass don't match the legs, and then you wonder why they are saying this. Okay, I'll show your ass. Um, Juski, would you like to see? Yeah, I'm going to take that for So this is Kai Sen. He did a blind date with Drewski. He invited a black woman to the live stream. And in front of 80,000 people, this is what was said. Let's go. Hold on. All right, look. Why you quiet? Nah, I'm just uh, in shock. What you in shock about? Damn. OK, OK. Can you get 360? Yeah, can I get 360 real quick? <laughs> Ah, damn. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, it's just... Wait, huh? What's the problem nah, with nah, the silence? Nah, I'm good. I, I'm just... Wait. I don't like the silence. It's scaring me. Like, nah, 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 nah. I fuck with it. I, fuck, I like lace red. I like, you know, like... Tell yeah. us, you know, now, so Hell yeah. yeah. Like, what's going on? No cap, though. The body crazy. I'm just saying. <laughs> Some Wait. of the features are kind of. Wait, what the fuck? What's the going on? Nah, nah, it's just. What do you mean the features, Brody? Nah, yeah. she. You... Like, I, when I felt the hands, I ain't. Get to see them. <laughs> what the <laughs> what, you what the you fuck? Know? I bought her for you, bro. What did you talk about? Like, what's going on? Why they, why they said jawline? What Wait, you... whoa. Huh? What the? Nah. No, 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 Drew, you good. Back, back. You A lot of people don't have friends to tell them the truth. Now, there's been a lot of women that have crossed my path, and they asked me, Tasha, what do you think? First of all, women don't have to act feminine. She was acting a little too extra feminine. You know, body sitting, head, ah, ah. ass don't match the legs or the thighs, which would make anybody think that she got a tuck. And it's either tuck like nettle, put nettle up. Right now, let <laughs> when nettle go. <laughs> well, yeah, nettle, show them what it's supposed to do, what the tuck's supposed to look like. Netta should get tucking glasses. Yeah. But back to Kai Sent and Drewski. Um, but this is this is the young girls. I'm seeing them. I'm in the nail shop and I'm seeing 17 year olds with wet and wavy all down their back, snuggled up eyelashes, lip fillers, sparkle, BBLs that don't match the legs. And it's like, who are y'all really competing? With with transgenders for men? Oh, listen, y'all can talk about me all day that you want, but any real woman know our stomachs ain't always flat. And our asses match our thighs. Now, ain't nothing wrong with the BBL culture because I done seen some BBLs that look great. And I'm going to say this too because I know I'm about to get dragged, but I don't care. That's what it is, what it is. You got women out here that are the most unkept women. And I'm a woman, I can say this. The most unkept women. They live in the lowest of the housing. They got the most kids. They eat the worst food. Body shaped like cereal boxes. No, 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 no. And then you take them same women who have no motivation in life. But to collect a check, whether it's from the government or whether it's from men, and they take the money that they're making from all these kids from filing taxes and getting their asses with from their baby daddies and not cleaning their house, not cleaning their kids. Them kids is nasty and everything. But they take that $6,000 and they run their ass on down here to Miami and they go get all that fat sucked out. 
And they go put it in their ass. And then they present on a live stream like this. Go. Uh -huh. Yeah. Go play. I'll show your ass. Um, Juicy, would you like to see? Yeah, I'm, nigga, I'm ready. Go ahead, Ain't never been pretty. Huh, pause. Ain't never been pretty or feminine because they had four to six kids before the age of 21 or 22. That's why they got to be all extra with the, you know, you, that, that's not real women. Come on now. Y all, y all, y all, that, that don't play. That is not real women. We are not, we feminine, but we, that, that, come, come. Look, look at that. There's a certain culture that's pushing this. And that's why these men are, you know, are able to get tricked because, you know, they got so much ass back there. And then you're hitting it from the back and not asking questions. Meanwhile, they got a whole dick up front. That they able to tuck and hide because you can't see past the ass. Moving on. Speaking of not seeing past the ass. Mike! How you doing? Welcome to Unwind with Tasha K again. Okay, in my DM, I'm talking about you going, I'm going to hear from your lawyer. I don't know why. We all just send your lawyer the same receipts I sent you. Okay, now I am a, a huge fan of Mike Epps, make no mistake, okay? Um, however, you know, we got wine to drink today. So uh, if you haven't been following uh, the news, Mike Epps' wife uh, decided to unfollow him and leave. He's online apologizing about what he said in this video. You like to hear? Here you go. My kids are beautiful, man. I had a son. Pause, 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 pause. The day now my he drinking in this video. I just want to let you know. And you know a drunk always tells the truth. Let's go. My mother died. My mother died 2020, COVID. My son was born the same time, bro. And I never had a son. He looked just like my mama, man. I swear, that's how I know God's real. In death comes life. Yeah, my gave me a son. My mama dope. gave me a son walking out the door, man. That's beautiful. I used to cry all the time and ask God, what, happened? what did I do wrong that I can't have a son? But I know what it was. I lied to all these women and got them pregnant <laughs> and, and sold them dreams and shit like that. I got five girls. <laughs> you got five girls, too. To let you know how much lying I've been lying, too. I've See, been doing too that's much That's one lying. thing that I'm going to get right before I leave this earth. I'm going to learn how to treat a woman 100% that's right. That's dope. That's dope. Because that's, that's something that I want to do for my mother, for my children, for my daughters. I never treated a woman right 100%. And now that I'm getting older, I'm realizing, man, you got to treat a woman right, Mike. You gotta, you, you, you can't, you can't cheat on her. You, you gotta, you gotta be her friend. You gotta not be selfish. This is what I want to do. This is one of my dreams, man. That's dope. That's something we have to learn as men. That's something we really have to learn as men. I had issues with my mother. So now I want to make a woman. I don't want my kid's mother to, you know what I mean? To have my mother's stuff. So that's one of my things I want to do, man. Now listen, that was deep. You know when when a when a comedian slow down, when anybody talking, when they slow down and they want you to hear their words, he said, that is something I want to give. I don't want my daughters to go through what my mama went through. And I have got to learn to treat a woman right. Now, if you're a real wine or you was on TashaKLive.com, you saw that we interviewed Mike Epps' ex-wife. And she was very clear about how the new wife came to be. We're going to release it on YouTube tomorrow. Stay tuned. <clears throat> However, she was very clear that the new wife was not a producer. She did not work for OWN. The only thing she was coming to OWN was this lady's husband. She was at the comedy shows, and she was an alleged mistress. It was a whole interview about it. Mike Epps jumped in my DM. You gonna hear from my lawyers. Uh, let me go ahead and read. You know my DMs be lit for real. <laughs> we got a few team members in my DM too. I know they be like, dang. Tasha DMs be lit. They do. They really do. See you in court, Miss K, he says. Hold that thought, y'all. We finna bring some receipts. Wait, just wait. 
Just, I said, just bring some wine with you on your way to court. Them court hours is long, Mike. <laughs> he said, okay, I will. I said, question, why is one of our legends in the making suing me? For what exactly to be specific? Now, this was after I interviewed his, his ex-wife, okay, at the top, the first wife, and this is the mistress now. This is uh, Iniko <laughs> Hart. <laughs> now, um, just so I'm clear, telling my attorneys what to look out for. So you don't know what you're suing me for. I knew that. New wifey is postpartum when this video came out. She probably been on your ass. You want to play Captain Save a Ho? Keep it to comedy. Ex-wife has a new book, a self-help book. She is promoted to help women get through a divorce, especially when you are married to a legend such as yourself. Focus on the jokes and leave this the gossip to me, okay? Good day, Mike. Oh, and when you are in uh, Florida, please leave two free tickets for me at Will Call. See you on the up. So he was like, give Cardi her money. I said, if I had it, I would run her down and make her take it right now, okay? He said, oh, and don't forget to check out my hit TV show on Netflix if you haven't seen it. I said, real talk, it ain't my business, but give your ex-wife some closure. Now, I was real on this, okay? This is off the record at that time, but we on the record now, okay? Y'all were like sister and brother. Brother, I know people grow out of love, but she needs to know in order to grow and move on for this. Divorce is painful for any woman. I will this weekend. Congratulations on your Netflix special. Then he comes back a few hours later. <laughs> when I knew wifey was in his ass. <laughs> Mr. Sir Wifey. Please take that interview down, Tasha. It's the famous. <laughs> My lawyer will be contacting you. I said, unfortunately, Mike, I cannot do that. Michelle, your ex-wife, has the right to tell her story and share her pain. Unfortunately, you played a part in that, but it's her story to tell. You're more than welcome to clear things up on my show, but we are not going to take down an interview because you feel it's defamation. Have your lawyer contact our attorneys if that's what you want. He goes, sure will. I wish you was real talent. I will come on your show and sorry, maybe one day, thank you for the offer, good luck. <laughs> okay, cool. Talented enough to have you begging in my DM, I said. <laughs> He said, you both are reaching hard in life. God has nothing to do with this type of negativity. Y'all gain shit from this interview. I don't get it. And do your homework on my wife. We did. There ain't no credits on, on or producing no shows or nothing. Only thing she produced was two babies from somebody's husband, allegedly. Now, um, <clears throat> so we made up, right? And I sent him a picture. And I was like, yeah, uh, y'all look like one of them couples that decorate homes on HGTV because he, he sent out a happy Valentine's uh, Day uh, message uh, to his wife, okay? And he said, yep, happy, happy V-Day to you too. I said, oh, okay, thank you. I said, oh, Mike, today at 12.07 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I said, oh, Mike, what the fuck did you do? Is it too soon to ask for a statement? Kira, unfollow him, the new wife. Sick of this shit, taking my babies. <laughs> After he said what he said in that video, I have got to get this right. I have never treated any woman 100% right. The ex-wife already said he was cheating on tour. Now, you know who else said he was cheating on tour and um, things like that? Y'all ready? Y'all ready? Cause he's, yeah, here's the thing. I, I was trying to get a statement from him. I was going to tell him. We got receipts that you were not faithful to this wife here, the new one, the one that you begging for right now. Hold on, hold on. Let me make sure I, uh, I pull up the apology because he said that we took it wrong and he ain't doing no more. Uh, uh, um, he ain't doing no more podcasts. These podcasts are demons, all types of shit. Hold on before we, we pull up these receipts. Hold on. Let me make sure I get it. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Jasmine, do we have that apology that uh that he paying to his wife saying that he apologized and everything? It's okay if you ain't got it. I'm going to pull it up. Hold on. I'm going to pull it up because we got, to, we got to make the introduction. Mike Epps apologizes to wife. Okay, after he did that video, be it <laughs> really real. Now, 
apologizes, Mike Epps apologizes to wife Kira Epps over misunderstood podcast remarks, okay? Now, he recently appeared on the All the Smoke podcast that resulted in him vowing to step away from all interviews altogether at the issue and an apology to his wife Kira Epps over misunderstood remarks, okay? Now, of course, he said, I got to before in the name of my mama and in the name of my kids treat women 100% Right, I used to cry all the time and ask God, what did I do that I can't have a son? And he gave him daughters just so he would be faithful to one woman. Now, he received backlash for his commentary, which people deemed contradictory, and, and put up a post after his wife unfollowed him and said, I want to apologize to my wife for what I said on this dumb-ass podcast shit. This shit is a trick bag he wrote. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm always misunderstood on what I say on the internet. Shaking my head, never again. I will interview with anyone. Never. I'm off this shit for good. Fuck off. Less, okay? Now, he followed up with a photo of his wife and a message to her expressing his admiration and respect for her and their family. Again, I want to apologize to my my beautiful wife for the ignorant and reckless com uh, comments. I honor you and my family. Please forgive me. There's smoke in that house. And we finna add to the fire. <laughs> he probably told the wife, I ain't never cheated on you. At least not while I was sober. <laughs> you got the picture of the young lady, Jasmine? Hmm? You got the picture of the young lady? Pull up a picture of the young lady. She doesn't mind her, her, uh, her pictures being out. So. Jenna Shea hit me today, the only one Shea. She has 6.9 million followers on Instagram, and she is an avid wino and wanted to ensure that the winos exclusively had this wine, okay? Now, she DM'd me. Actually, she was in the comments. And said, Tasha, check your DM. And I did just that. And she said, Mike been out here a long time, acting the way that he does. Hopefully there's a change. I didn't call or text him. And I said, oh, shit. Now, she said the receipts before. I said, oh, shit. She had already said, boop, seven million followers. Here you go. Keep up the good work. One day I might have something, and you might want to interview. I've been out here a long time. I said, yes, ma'am. White girl, I need my interview because she is a white girl. Okay, now hold on for a second. Mike, 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 Mike. <laughs> what happens when you tell the truth? Okay, so this is Jenna Shea. She is a, uh, I think she, I don't want to lie on her now. No, she says she can't post much here, but follow only Shea Raised in Vegas. I'm paid to help girls make money. Okay, I believe she has, let me see, uh, nope. Oh, she has a free OnlyFans, okay? She has a website. Uh, so she's one of the girls out here, all right? And so when she sent me the uh, the messages, now, he married Kira real quick. Look up and see when Mike married Kira. When did he see there? I mean, there's an overlap, and how you get them is how you lose them. <laughs> Hold on, Mike Epps, marriage to Kira, Okay. June 2019, he's been married to Kira, has two kids by Kira. Kira had unpacked her shit, unfollowed him. He says he didn't mean that. It was the podcast fault. Jenna Shea that has 7 million followers on Instagram. Wino sent us these receipts. Y'all make sure y'all show some love for Jenna. Jasmine, Jasmine, Jasmine. Well, uh, okay, here we go, DMs. Now, you're going to see my hand, because I can't see. <laughs> so, this is the real Mike Epps. This is the real Mike Epps and Jenna's DM, okay? Hey, uh, hold on, hey, Saturday or Friday, are you performing in East Bay? I might go. This is 2017, Friday. You coming for the show? You coming to the show? She goes, uh, no, I'm staying in L.A. He, he goes, where you at? Scroll back up. Uh, she goes, I went to see you in tw February 12, 2023. That was last year. I went to see you. It was great. I stay in Vegas. Her, his number hit me. Hit me. Now, why is a married man in the DMs? 
trying to solicit this white girl to call him? Now, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me get the rest of the messages. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Y'all better show Shia some love. Jenna, Shia some love. See, y'all be mad at these hoes. I be telling y'all, y'all better keep these hoes close. You don't know. Okay? She says she never, she never called this man. But he kept begging. Why, 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 why would you be sent there? She said he'd been begging for years. Now, this was sent, obviously, early last year. He'd been married to Kira. He's liking her stories. Fire, February 17, 2023. I just don't understand. Like, um, So it is proof here that you haven't 100% treated a woman right. And you got five daughters, including a wife and an ex-wife and a soon-to-be ex-wife. Play that video one more time. Let's see if it makes more sense now. Let's go. Where's his video? My kids are beautiful, man. I had a son the day my mother died. My mother died 2020, mm, COVID. Mm -mm. My son was born the same time, bro. And I never had a son. He looked just like my mama, man. I swear, that's how I know God's real. And death comes life. Yeah, my gave me a son. My mama dope. gave me a son walking out the door, man. That's beautiful. I used to cry all the time and ask God, what, have, what did I do wrong that I can't have a son? But I know what it was. I lied to all these women and got them pregnant. <laughs> And, and sold them dreams and shit like that. Got five girls. <laughs> you got five girls too. To let you know how much lying I've been lying too. I've been doing too that's much. That's one lying. thing that I'm gonna get right before I leave this earth. I'm gonna learn how to treat a woman a hundred percent right. That's dope. That's dope. Cause I that's that's something that I want to do for my mother, for my children, for my daughters. I never treated a woman right a hundred percent. And now that I'm getting older, I'm realizing, man, you gotta treat a woman right, Mike. You gotta, you, you, you can't, you can't cheat on her. You, you gotta, you gotta be her friend. You gotta not be selfish. This is what I want to do. This is one of my dreams, man. That's dope. That's something we have to learn as men. That's something we really have to learn as men. I had issues with my mother, so now. I want to make a woman, I don't want my kid's mother to, you know what I mean, to have my mother's stuff. Mm. So that's yeah. one of my things I want to do, man. See, and y'all be picking up these men with this trauma and they got mommy issues and shit and they always try to blame it on their mama as to the reason why they can't treat no woman right because they saw the mama cheating on their daddy or some shit. You know, it's just, and he strikes me as the type to, to cheat, but then when he done cheating, he feel guilty about it. You just be like, damn, why did I? <laughs> oh, he's like, yeah, I'm telling you. I said, like, but why are you out here giving? This girl ain't got number ass on her page. Why are you giving her your number? That man went lying. I'm sorry, Kira, but listen, here's the thing. Um, the ex-wife said there was some overlap in y'all relationship, and so you had to know that this was going to overlap into yours. The man is on the road all the time. It ain't number hoes and coke. <laughs> what do you expect? But he said he vowed he's going to get it right. And comedians tell the truth. I'm be honest with you. We tell the truth. We ain't got no reason to lie. Mm -hmm. So y'all pray for this couple. They going through it. If you got prayers left. Thank y'all so much for watching. Guys, please know we are headed to Atlanta this weekend. We got two wine, gossip, and comedy shows back-to-back -back on Sunday, March 10th, my birthday, in Atlanta, Georgia. We got some tickets left to the second show. So make sure you get them tickets that we got left. It's almost a sold-out show. Go to TashaKOnStage.com. Grab your tickets for Atlanta. Grab your tickets for Baltimore, because Baltimore the next city, because we coming to turn up. up. And y'all know I don't give a damn. At all, okay? I don't care whose city I'm in. Uh, Y'all can find, yeah, they know where to find me if they got smoke at the club. At the comedy club, okay? Don't forget, we're about to head over to TashaKLive.com right now for the fourth installment of the Chantel Freeman case, okay? This is her exclusive interview. We confronted Chantel with everything that the family said. We gave y'all the family first, so when we got to her, you guys knew what the story was.
All right? So make sure you have your subscription to TashaKLive.com to catch the fourth installment. Then we got a fifth and a sixth installment. And then if we ain't got no more family members coming forward, I have a bombshell that I'm going to expose at the end because I'm telling you, you're going to be blown away at who was actually doing the fucking and having babies too. Okay? I said, this family put everything on the table. Yes, they did. And even her mama entered the chat. Okay? Thank y'all so much for watching. Teddy, thank you. I love you. I love you. I love you guys. I got to get ready. So I'm going to end this show early tonight. I'm not going to be doing a second live on TashaKLive.com. I'm j What'd you say? It was two hours? Okay. I'm going to be doing a second live on Tasha K Live. I'm not going to be doing a second live on Tasha K Live.com. We're going to be releasing the fourth installment of the Chantel Freeman case. So you guys will be able to get your wine and enjoy that. Don't forget, guys, Tasha K on stage.com for your tickets. We're pulling up Sunday in Atlanta. I cannot wait to see y'all and celebrate my motherfucking birthday with y'all. Shout out to Naples because Naples know what type of show we gave last Sunday. Y'all showed up and showed out. If you want to advertise on the platform, please feel free to hit me at ads at TashaKLive.com. If you have tips, Continue to email me at unwamatashk at gmail.com or hit me on Instagram, Twitter, or any of the DMs. I get them. Stay tuned, okay? Who the, who the fuck did I marry? Season two is going to be unveiling on TashaKLive.com. We got Legion's first family, the ex-wife, okay, along with the two children. When I tell you you're going to be blown away at this information, I said Risa should have just capitalized on this as she could, you know what I'm saying, when she had the opportunity because now the story finna switch. Now, um, and thank you so much for Peaches for coming in to moderate live. She over here. You want to come say hi, Peaches? Peaches said, no, she ain't coming over here. Why no She said, why no guy? <laughs> and I love y'all. Thank you so much to Jasmine for putting together such a dope show. Thank you to my entire team. I'll see y'all Sunday. And with that being said, don't forget to follow me everywhere. Now I got to go. Bye.